and welcome everybody to the 31st anniversary Magic Mike's Castle reunion show. Hey, we love you all. So come along with me, we'll visit the castle of fantasies, magic drawings and special songs, Desmond Forgetful will take you along. So come along with me, enter the castle and what will we see? Each week there's something new waiting for you, alphabet lunch and we'll speak French with you. Along with me, we'll visit the castle of fantasies. Rather than actually redo a show in modern times, we've decided, we being the boys and I, to give you a glimpse backstage, a retrospective of how the show started, and the motivation behind doing the show. Oh, wow, that was just like... Holy cow, that's a long time ago. The show started in July of 1989, quickly transitioning from Kitty Cabaret, which was on the air for about three, four years, completely different theme. It involved clowns. I was always surrounded by clowns. And, believe it or not, the inkling of the puppets. The, the puppet theater featured Daryl Scarrett as the puppeteer and uh, Desmond, Forgetful, uh, Unicorn, all of them were in this scene. Little did I know that years later when we changed the format to the castle format, Daryl would come along and bring those puppets with him. With the brand new format imminent, there was no time for me to draw, paint, or create a castle other than through using chroma key. And chroma key, in, in case you don't know how that process works, a green screen is placed behind people and through uh, technical engineering, whatever scene, drawing, or video um, that is wanted by the production crew is brought behind the person. So the illusion of an actual castle is created. That castle image was pasted and, and copied and whatever manually, that was before computer stuff, by me and superimposed behind me. Okay, rev your engines! Oh yeah, get out the green flag. With not much else, we went to air mid-July or thereabouts of 1989. The characters were myself, Desmond and Forgetful, and we had sort of a screwball clown character named Dingbat, and she would walk on carrying a toaster or schlepping the toaster behind her, which apparently spoke to her. Everyone, it was both days. Hey, yeah, you know, we had so much fun. I think we're going to try doing this again. The original name was based on my stage name at the time, which was Merlin. Yes, kids, believe it or not, I called myself Merlin, Michael Merlin, Magic Mike Merlin, then eventually just Magic Mike. Nowadays, I'm Magic Mike Likey because of the pr proliferance of uh, many Magic Mikes throughout North America and the world. With a logo that said Merlin's Magic Castle, uh, something that I quickly thrown together as well, we went to air and we never looked back. The show opened generally with me doing what's called a walk-on. I either pretend that I'm dusting or cleaning the castle, and then we do a tight shot on the broom, which would supposedly talk. Ooh, what's it? Oh, hey, Dusty, how are you this week? I'm fine. Do you have a new trick for us this week? As a matter of fact, I do. I was just telling the boys and girls about it. We'll set you over here. And the broom would just say whatever it would to me. I would do uh, an introduction to the show and call on the boys, Desmond and Forgetful, which, by the way... And maybe we'll call on Desmond and Forgetful to help with this one. We'll see. Oh, oh hey, Wiz, how's it going? Forgetful, I'm over here. Oh, there hey, I am. hey, that's you. This is me, this is me. Oh, and... hey, wait, but I thought this was you. No, no, this is this is big and round, very large and dark and... Uh, oh, could be your brother, I guess. Eh? I'm wondering if you don't need maybe glasses. Do you need glasses? Oh, no, I think I need more rest. 
Oh, probably. There he goes. Let's see if Desmond is here. Hey, there's Desmond and his cool shades. Yeah, my chocolate bar sunglasses. Here, take a wheel. That's uh, scratch and sniff, eh? Yeah, take a wheel. Go ahead. Oh, that's great. Where are the boys? Uh, well, Wiz, it's a little hot where we are. So you all see out there through the magic of modern technology how it brought Desmond and Forgetful all the way from Winnipeg to our studios here in Vancouver, Canada. Wow, we're just, we're just so amazed, we're speechless. In the old days, we had my castle set up, my castle backdrop. It was, oh, many, many, many feet wide. I painted it by hand on a sort of a canvas, a flexible canvas, and it was pinned up behind us. And we would do in the olden days what was called following the action. So the camera people and the switcher would go from wide shot to two head shot to uh, close up for the close up magic. And they kind of knew my patterns and rhythms by the seventh, eighth, ninth seasons of the show. So they would pretty much know what segments, where I was going and when. Take a look at uh, a little bit of footage from back then. Castle and Hi. Grandpa Tom, thank you for coming. Hello, Desmond. Hello, Forgetful. Hey, how's it going? Did you bring us some chicken soup? Some Baba's chicken soup? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best kind, isn't it? Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's great to have you back to the castle, um, Grandpa Tom. I understand you're a member of the Society of American Magicians. That's right. And the local branch, Magic Circle Magic 7. Magic Circle 7, that's correct. And how long have you been a member? Well, we're in our third year now of being with the uh, Magic Circle 7. And... Uh, we're absolutely having the time of our lives. It's We're lots having a of fun, great eh? time doing magic, and Sam helps me quite a bit. And tonight we brought some new magic for you. Oh, terrific. Oh, right. yeah. I'd like to see some, wouldn't you guys? Oh, yeah, you bet. Terrific. We're going what to do, we do have? We're going to do a trick called the Talking Queen. Now, what we're going to do, each of us have a deck of cards, and we're going to... Take the cards out of the package. So it's a sealed, two sealed package. Absolutely of cards. sealed. And we'll take out the two jokers. If we took out the two jokers, Desmond and Forgetful wouldn't be here. Whoops. Oh! Well, what are they using seals for? And this <laughs> trick is called the Talking Queen. So we've got the four queens over here. Put yours down, Sam, if you will, please. There. It looks like no. a poker game. Now, in order to do this, we have to have you participate, and you sure. have to tell us which queen will talk for you. Okay. Oh, did you drop your card, Sam? That's all right. We can go. Could have been worse. It could have happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I see Sam has magically disappeared. Hey, Sam, pretty good. Let's go for some French fries and peanut butter. Fine. Okay, get, okay. Gather them all together, if you will, Sam, and we'll, we'll just carry on sure. with this one, okay? We always carry on. All right. Now, which queen would you like to have do the talking for you? Uh, queen of Hearts is fine. Queen of Hearts is fine. Now, what I'd like you to do sure is make is the queen of hearts. three cuts mm -hmm. of the deck, if you will, please. All right. Let's cut it three times or cut it three, three times? times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that comes after two. There's one, one two, three. two, three. All right. There we now, go. Now, if you had your choice of these three decks, mm -hmm. which one would you take? I would take the full deck. No, I would take, say, that one. you take that one. And I would take this one. All right. And what we'll do, we'll just take the top card of that one. And what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to take your queen mm -hmm. and slip it underneath the card just far enough so that the eyes can see what the card is. Alrighty. But please don't flash it because that makes the trick too easy. Alrighty. Would you do that? There we go. Her eyes are just beneath the card. There we okay. go. Okay. I'm now, getting my deck ready. Good. Now hold... <laughs> good job, Sam. Good job. <laughs> hold the card up to your ear and see if the queen is talking to you. She is. What is she saying? She's saying Bubba's chicken soup is the best. Yes, and what Get else? The jam. Is she telling you what the card is? No, she's saying don't plant your corn in August. <laughs> That's good advice. You know what she just asked me? <laughs> what? She says, what's red and goes ding dong? <laughs> I know that one. It's a red ding dong. <laughs> That's right. What's that? Oh, what's blue and goes ding dong? <laughs> they only come in red. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> May I? Specialty store. Specialty store. <laughs> She's saying to me, <laughs> Magic Mike is not paying attention. The card is the Jack of Spades. Would you be good enough to turn over the Jack of Spades for us? Sure. 
There it is. It is the same jack of spades that the queen got. Terrific. Now, that is terrific. Oh, you have amazing. to acknowledge that. Now, we have a master size card over here that we'd like, perhaps in the magic of the magic castle, we can zoom in on this and see what that card is over so there. So this pad is actually a card underneath? That's right. Let's have right. a look and see. It is wow. also a jack of spades, a jumbo jack of spades. Isn't that ever neat? Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That's oh, you super. Do, Sam. That's very good. Thank you, Grandpa Tom. That was very good. Oh, wow. That's that was terrific. pretty bodacious there. There we go. Uh, now, now, Sam has a similar pad. Oh. And what he'd like you to do, <laughs> cut that one in three, if you will, Should please. Should I do that, Sam? Alrighty. I'll cut it into three piles like that. All right. Now, which pile would you like to take of these? I'll take that one. You'll take that one. And we'll take this one, and we'll leave one card out in the open. And similarly, which card, which queen would you like to use to have do the Queen talking? of Hearts is good as well. Queen of Hearts is sure. good. Sure. Let, let Magic Mike do that, Sam, because he's the one that's going to try and determine what that card is. Would you Should be good enough that? to do that for us? <laughs> sure. Magic Mike? There we go. We'll slip it underneath. Right. All right. And what is she saying to you? I took my stop there with a full deck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. It's true. <laughs> and she said, I'm a real card and I have to be dealt with. <laughs> oh, what a cut up. What a but cut did up. Did she tell you what the card no. is? No, she didn't. Sam, would you hold it up to your ear and see if she'll tell you? Sorry, you got the king What is she telling you? Queen, pardon? King of spades. King of spades. Let Mike turn it over. Would is you that do right? That? Is it really the king of spades? You can check. Let's see. Oh, it is the king of spades. Do you also have a big card under here, too? Let's see. That would be really, really neat. Let's see. They're both kings of spades how about hey, that well yeah, done that's sam awesome. hey, that's pretty right very sam, good thank you very much sam kovnats thank you very much <laughs> grandpa <laughs> tom kovnats will you a delight it's been a, it's always a delight having you will you guys come back a little later absolutely terrific we're going to join the rest of the group and watch the show terrific tonight. other segments of the um Magic Mike's Castle show included uh, picking a word from the mirror. We have a modern day mirror now which sometimes makes its appearance in my modern productions. Take a look. Hey Magic Mike. Or even this. The word for this week is Ghanif, meaning thief. Let's see if the uh, the mirror is around. Awaken has uh, has a word for us, so we'll see if the mirror is there. Mirror, are you awake? Yes, Magic Mike. Do you have a new word for us this week? Sure do. Alrighty, we'll pull it out and we'll see. No, it's not on, but in fact, it is an O, which spells no. Well, boys, should we do a song? Can you still sing? Inside a song, whether big or small, it's a magical word that we all can use. Just say no if it don't feel right. Just say no to drugs. No. Just say no to alcohol. Just say no and you'll feel true. No. La 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 la. Just say no to stranger. No. Just say no and you'll feel true. No. No. I say no. I say no, no, no. Just say no if it don't feel right. Just say no to drugs. Just say no to cigarettes. Just say no and you'll feel true. No. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. 
That's it. Just say no. It's very, very easy. It goes like that. Point those ears. Flap those wings. Shake that tail. Let's all sing to the bat. It goes like that. Point those ears. Flap those wings, shake the tail. Let's all sing to the bat. It goes like that. Group background by even flying fox. These are all the sounds. They're sure a lot. Point those ears, flap those wings, shake the tail. Let's all sing to the bat. It goes like that. Point those ears, flap those wings, shake the tail, let's all sing to the bat. It goes like that. Nocturnal creatures visually appear, sleep by day in the evening, they're there. Point those ears, flap those wings, shake the tail, let's all sing to the bat. It goes like that. Point those ears, flap those wings, shake the tail, let's all sing to the bat. It goes like that. Point those ears, flap those wings, shake the tail, let's all sing to the bat.